Welcome to today's virtual tour. Today we take you to the Israeli city of Beersheba, which played a key role in an epic battle during World War I that gave Great Britain control of the city. This is important because it helped set the stage for the re-establishment of the Jewish state. Take a look. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed the Australian Prime Minister and New Zealand Governor to commemorate the victory of British, Australian and New Zealand soldiers and the Light Horse Regiment a century ago. Nearly 4,000 years ago, Abraham came to Beersheba, the city of seven wells. Exactly 100 years ago, brave Anzac soldiers liberated Beersheba for the sons and daughters of Abraham and opened the gateway for the Jewish people to re-enter the stage of history. And they spurred their horses through that fire, those mad Australians, through that fire and took the town of Beersheba, secured the victory that did not create the state of Israel, but enabled its creation. The battle for Beersheba was a turning point in the British conquest of the Middle East. That enabled British General Allenby to walk through the Jaffa Gate here less than three months later on December 11, 1917, as the victor in the battle for Jerusalem. Allenby, the first Christian conqueror in centuries, entered the gate on foot out of respect for the holy city. Australian light horsemen made that possible. The charge of the Australian light horse was significant because they were, they were never trained to do this. They were what we call mounted infantry. They go up to the front line on horse, get off and go in as infantry. So this was something completely new. They'd never trained for it. And so upwards of 600 of these men, just they just were given the order and they did it. Australian author Kelvin Crombie teamed up with the director of the Australian Light Horse Association, Barry Waters, to spearhead the efforts to reenact the charge. More than 100 uniformed horsemen rode in the event. Whoa! March! They had to get into Beersheba before the sun went down because the Turks were beginning to destroy the water wells. It was important in geopolitical terms because it was the, uh, the action that broke the back of the Ottoman Turkish Empire. At the same time, a monumental decision was being made in Britain. What's so amazing is that on the same day, at about the same time as this event took place, the members of the British War Cabinet were meeting in London and they voted for that great decision which we now know as the Balfour Declaration, that the British government views would favour the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Australians and New Zealanders are extremely proud of their role in Middle East history. Like Australian Lance Corporal, David Wood. My great-grandfather was a member of the 1st Light Horse Regiment who held the back door open and stopped off the Turkish retreats. It was his first trip to Israel, the country his great-grandfather Alfred had unknowingly fought for. You feel proud and you feel a bit overwhelmed to be around and to have been at the cemetery this morning and seen all the gravestones of my great-grandfather's mates is amazing and humbling. Earlier in the day, those celebrating watched the Light Horseman Parade down Beersheba's main street. To be here at the place where the Australian uh, victory occurred, and it was a, an incredibly gutsy effort, uh, both the men and horses. It's all part of our, our um, national psyche. I think it's a, another display of his awesomeness and how history is made with him in this scenario and God being God and who he is and everything that he represents. Yeah, we get to be a part of it being Aussies. Australia's Prime Minister summed up the part his countrymen had played. They defied history, they made history, and with their courage, they fulfilled history. Chris Mitchell, CBN News. Thanks for joining us on today's virtual tour. Come back tomorrow where we'll show you another major milestone in Israel's history with Great Britain.